What is up, YouTube? It's Trevor the Crab coming at you with another MLB The Show video. It's going to be about my first impressions of the game, like what's new. First off, we have a new MLB Network presentation, as if you're watching the game right on the MLB Network. They also revamped Road to the Show and turned it into a full role-playing game story experience, where you can go through and play through each of these, talk to your agents, decide how you're going to get traded, and work out deals that way. You may have seen something similar to this in the NBA 2K series. It's a step in the right direction. Um, but I did think it missed in a couple areas. But it, I, I do like where it's going. So they did a great job. And that's one of the new features as well this year. Another great addition this year is the Humanity AI. Players will play a lot more like players on the field. So you'll see them cause errors. You'll see them do things they wouldn't have done normally as they were acting more like a computer control player so I really like the humanity AI changes it makes the makes the overall feel of the game a lot more realistic they also the new addition this year would be the new ball physics these uh, will change how the ball actually reacts to the world and the environment in addition to how it reacts to the bat when it gets hit these will you'll see a lot more new animations you'll see the ball hitting off in a lot of other directions you didn't normally see before and it adds a lot more realism and unpredictability to the game. Now to my next topic, what's good this year? What's really, really good about this year is that it feels like you're actually watching a game on TV. The MLB presentation, new animations, and improved face scans have made the game feel more real than ever. Uh, the new ball, new ball physics were also a nice change this year, so you don't see the same ball animations and drops over and over, much like I mentioned before, and it's a lot more realistic. Diamond Dynasty also has many missions this year to help you advance and improve your team by completing objectives that lead to some pretty nice rewards. You can unlock various different things and players for your team to improve your Diamond Dynasty. As you can see here, it bases off your stats. You can eventually unlock King Griffey Jr., 99 overall, as an example of one of the items. Another great addition this year is the much requested ability to redo Conquest for rewards. So now, each time that you complete the rewards, you will get a 10 pack. Now, there is some speculation that since it, it does add up the amount of times you've done it, you do get a really nice card at the end, um, but it has not been confirmed yet. At this moment, you will only get the 10-pack bundle every single time you complete it, which is still a pretty nice reward in itself. Now to what's bad this year. Sadly, it's the same thing that's every year. I'm not sure if it's bad or something that we just expect with such a large... something that we should expect with such a large launch. The game's following grows larger and larger every year and their servers get slammed in the first couple weeks. I understand it's probably hard to predict this traffic or maybe even combat to fix it. But servers in this state, every edition release is starting to become a letdown. Over the past couple years, I've purchased this game with the understanding of what to expect out of the servers early on. They were always going to be bad for a couple weeks. San Diego Studios will reimburse us give us some kind of constant updates when they're available and we move on. However, this isn't something that we should just learn to expect and it looks really bad for new players trying out the MLB The Show for the first time. With that being said, other than the server issues, the game is amazing. And finally, what could be added or improved to make this game better? I have been saying since the release I believe that collisions or better AI when fielders are getting close to each other. I've had a few times where my fielders have crossed right through each other or even stood right with one another and this feels a little unrealistic. This would be a great addition but understand it's not something that happens so often and it's less likely to be animated into the game. I also believe that they added some type of logos or uniforms for the teams that are actually in the MLB inside of Diamond Dynasty. It would add another level to the collections. I still enjoy you know, the whole creative uniform and the logos in the game, but believe adding maybe the minor league team, uh, teams, maybe the minor league logos, even the MLB ones, would be a nice addition for everybody to help with their creation. 
I would also like to see collections that some sort be able to turn players in for packs or bundles. Maybe seven players for a pack, seven silvers for a ten bundle, or something along those lines. I believe this, this is something that would be a huge thing in the community and you would get a lot of good feedback about that. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and subscribe for more content.